You dedicated uh, your movie to your father. W what was his significance in this process? My father was a Navy interrogator in World War II in the Pacific Theater. And um, so he felt very strongly about these issues. You know, the Japanese at the time had a reputation of treating American prisoners pretty badly. The baton death march. They, in fact, they waterboarded prisoners. And we prosecuted and executed some of the Japanese for that crime. Um, and they, were, they had a reputation for being fanatical. These were people who imagine this, who, who flew suicide missions with airplanes, not unlike Al-Qaeda many years later. But my father was never motivated or never, it never occurred to him to want to use waterboarding or any of these extreme torture techniques because he believed in our fundamental system, which was, you know, we're better than that. Uh, just because somebody does something bad to us, uh, we don't reciprocate. You know, we're holding ourselves to a higher standard, a sense of a better sense of possibility. So he was furious. And just before he died, I went to see him just to, to visit, really. And while we were talking, he said, go get your camera. And I had a little, you know, amateur camera with me. So I videotaped a short interview with him where he uh, told me about his experiences as a um, Navy interrogator and also about his fury at Rumsfeld, Cheney, and Bush. Uh, for what they'd done to what he felt he was fighting for in World War II. He was one of the good guys. Well, certainly in my mind, he's one of the good guys. Okay. Now, I know we're running out of time, but I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions about your award, uh, the Oscar. Um, now, at, at the end of your Oscar speech, you, you said this. Um, uh, you said, let's hope we can turn the country around, move away from the dark side, and back to the light. Do you think that's possible? Sure I do. I mean, I think that... It was a conscious choice. Let's remember, just after 9-11, we had the sympathy of the whole world, and I think the cooperation of the whole world, to move forward and imagine a better possibility. That's, you know, what could be called the light, a, a, sense, of, um, uh, a sense of hope, a sense of a mutual understanding, uh, and a sense of pursuing justice for people who, uh, you know, do extremely uncivilized things, like terrorists. Instead, though, we embraced the dark side, and I think we gave vent to what, you know, Hunter called our fear and loathing. You know, it's it now is take off the glove time. It was retribution. It's kick-ass time. Um, but that did not lead us where we wanted to go. It, it, it led us to Abu Ghraib, really. And that has become a kind of poster for recruiting terrorists and has undermined our moral authority all over the world. So I hope we can, and I'm pretty sure we can, get back there. But it's going to take some time, and it's also going to take us having the strength to reckon with what's been done. Because the only way you can go forward into the future is to reckon with the past. And we're going to have to reckon with that and understand what we've done and hold some people accountable, in my view, before we can move forward. And then finally, uh, as a filmmaker, you're not a journalist, you say, um, but as a filmmaker... Uh, as a critic, as a writer, um, what do you think your legacy will be? Jeez, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I ran into a, a, a professor at the University of Texas recently who gave his first year uh, business students uh, their first assignment, which was to write their own obituary. So this is one I, I think I should have given more thought to. Um, you know, I hope the legacy of the films that I made will be, um, you know, to engender a, a sense of possibility, both in terms of the tools of filmmaking, how you can play by your own rules um, and, uh, and, and find a fun and, and, and playful way to express yourself, yet at the same time to embrace the contradictions of everyday life and not be afraid to uh, look uh, corruption and... Um, uh, the dark side in the eye and say, you know, there's something wrong here. The, you know, the, it's a corny old phrase, but, uh, you know, I think that the, in, the, in the best ways, these films found a way to speak truth to power. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, I think we've covered it. Thank you very much. Thank you.